Greeting the Secretary General as she arrived at the United Nations. Malala Yousafzai, just nine months after she was shot in the head at point-blank range by the Taliban, was given the sort of reception normally accorded to a world leader. But in some ways, that is what she may now have become, a global advocate for the youth of the world, by making this remarkable speech. So let us wage a global struggle against illiteracy, poverty and terrorism. Let us pick up. Let us pick up our books and our pens. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Education is the only solution. Education first. Bold words from this brave young woman, but also a personal message of forgiveness. The Taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead. They shot my friends too. They thought that the bullet would silence us. But they failed. I want education for the sons and daughters of the Taliban and all the terrorists and extremists. I do not even hate the Talib who shot me. Even if there is a gun in my hand and he stands in front of me, I would not shoot him. The audience, dignitaries and youth leaders gave her a standing ovation. And then this. Malala today celebrating her 16th birthday. Such a speech by someone so young, not speaking in her native tongue, is itself unprecedented at the UN. But advocates hope the passion and eloquence shown by a girl who was so close to death will be a big boost to the campaign to bring an education to every child in the world. James Bays, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.